Chapter 2 Algebraic Expressions We have learned the way to use a letter to indicate a number, terms of an algebraic expression. Trinomials, their addition and multiplication, multiplying a binomial by a monomial and about brackets and their uses. This chapter is intended to extend the algebraic expression with integral coefficients to those algebraic expressions with real coefficients in general and with rational coefficients in particular. Now, we also introduce the degree of an expression, polynomials, their general form, addition and subtraction of polynomials in one variable and the method of finding the zero of a first degree polynomial. Value of an expression. If we are required to find the value of an expression, substitution method can be used. For example, to find the value of expression 5x plus 2 when x is equal to 3, on substitution we get 5x plus 2 is equal to 5 into 3 plus 2 is equal to 15 plus 2 is equal to 17. Therefore, it is clear that the value of the variable is responsible for the numerical value of an expression. Example, find the value of 1 upon 4x plus 1 upon 8x square when first x is equal to 2, second x is equal to 1. 1 upon 4x plus 1 upon 8x square is an algebraic expression with rational coefficients. To find the value of the given expression, substitute x is equal to 2 in 1 upon 4x plus 1 upon 8x square. Therefore, value of expression is equal to 1 upon 4x plus 1 upon 8x square is equal to 1 upon 4 into 2 plus 1 upon 8 into 2 square is equal to 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 is equal to 1. Similarly, when x is equal to 1, the value of the expression is equal to 1 upon 4 into 1 plus 1 upon 8 into 1 square is equal to 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 8 is equal to 3 upon 8. Algebra Algebra is a generalized form of arithmetic. In arithmetic, we use those numbers which has definite values whereas in algebra, we use variables. To write a given statement in algebraic form statement, first, x plus y is equal to 8, algebraic form is equal to x plus y is equal to 8. Second, subtract 6 from 2x is less than y, algebraic form is equal to 2x minus 6 is less than y. In algebra, two types of numbers are used. Constant, the number whose numerical value does not vary is called constant term. Variable, the terms written with x, y, z, p, q, r are called variables. For example, in 4x, 5, 13, 1 upon 8, p, 73, 5, 13, 73 are constant terms, while 4x, 1 upon 8, p are variables. Algebraic expressions. An algebraic expression is a collection of one or more terms which are separated from each other by the sign of plus or minus. For example, First, 4y minus 3x plus 6. Second, minus 9x minus 8. Monomial. An algebraic expression which consists of one term only is called monomial. For example, 2x, 4yz, 3p upon 4q, etc. Binomial. Expression having two terms is called binomial. For example, x plus y, 2z plus y. 3 upon y plus 8, etc. Trinomial. Expression having three terms is called trinomial. For example, 2x plus y plus 3, x plus 3y plus 2 upon z, etc. Polynomial. Expression having two or more terms is called polynomial. For example, 3x square plus z, 4x plus y plus 3p plus 8, etc. Expression having more than three terms is called multinomial. For example, 7x plus 3y plus 2y plus 8, 9p square plus 4q plus 8r minus 1 upon 3s plus 9, etc. Coefficient. Any group of factors of a product is known as the coefficient of remaining factors. For example, in 3xyz, 3 is the coefficient of xyz. 3x is the coefficient of yz. yz is the coefficient of 3x. Powers of literal quantities. When a variable multiplied by itself is known as the power of that variable. For example, 
a square y cube z to the power 4 etc the terms having same variable are called like terms for example 4x minus 8x 1 upon 2x are like terms unlike terms the terms having different variables are called unlike terms for example 3x square 3x 3xy are unlike terms degree of a polynomial it is defined to be the greatest of degrees of its various terms thus the general form of a first degree polynomial in the variable x is ax plus b for example 1 upon 2x plus 1 upon 3 5x minus 4 2x minus 1 upon 5 are some first degree polynomial consider the polynomial 4x square minus 5x plus 6x cube upon 7 minus 5x to the power 4 upon 6 having 4 terms the degree of the terms in it are 2 1 3 4 respectively the greatest among these is 4 hence the given polynomial is of degree 4 the general form of a second degree polynomial in one variable x is ax square plus bx plus c this is called a quadratic polynomial thus in general ax to the power n plus bx to the power n minus 1 plus up to px plus q where a is not equal to 0 is called a polynomial of degree n here the coefficients are either integers rational or both a polynomial is concerned with the positive integral powers of the variable involved in the expression and not with the number of terms in the expression a multinomial expression is concerned with the number of terms in the expression whatever the powers of the variable in the expression thus all polynomial expressions are multinomial but the converse is not always true for example 3 under root x plus 4 upon x is a multinomial expression but not a polynomial zero of a polynomial let us consider the polynomial 2x plus 9 and try to find its value at x is equal to minus 9 upon 2 if we substitute x is equal to minus 9 upon 2 the value of the polynomial is 2x multiplied by minus 9 upon 2 plus 9 is equal to minus 9 plus 9 is equal to 0 that is the polynomial equates to 0 therefore for the given polynomial x is equal to minus 9 upon 2 is called the zero of the polynomial hence we can deduce that the number for which the value of a polynomial is zero is called zero of the polynomial addition and subtraction in algebraic expressions we can add or subtract only like terms unlike terms cannot be written as a single term for the required operation first of all keep all the like terms together then do the asked addition or subtraction for example add minus 4x minus 2a plus x 8x plus a solution minus 4x plus minus 2a plus x plus 8x plus a is equal to minus 4x plus x plus 8x minus 2a plus a is equal to 5x minus a subtract 4a minus 3b plus 2c from 4a minus b plus 6c solution 4a minus 3b plus 6c minus 4a minus 3b plus 2c is equal to 4a minus b plus 6c minus 4a plus 3b minus 2c is equal to 4a minus 4a minus b plus 3b plus 6c minus 2c is equal to 0 plus 2b plus 4c is equal to 2b plus 4c multiplication while multiplying two algebraic expression multiply with each term of one expression with each term of another expression and then add like terms together for example 1 multiply 2x with 4xy solution 2x into 4xy is equal to 8x square y 2 find the product of 3x plus y and 2x plus 2y solution 3x plus y into 2x plus 2y is equal to 2x into 3x plus y plus 2y into 3x plus 2y is equal to 6x square plus 2xy plus 6xy plus 2y square is equal to 6x square plus 8xy plus 2y square 
simplified form of a polynomial. Consider the polynomial 5x square plus 2 minus 6x plus 7x square minus 20x plus 15 plus 18x minus 16x square which is clearly not in the simplified form. Rearrange the terms as follows. 5x square plus 7x square minus 16x square plus minus 6x minus 20x plus 18x plus 2 plus 15. On simplification we will get minus 4x square minus 8x plus 17. The simplified form minus 4x square minus 8x plus 17 is said to be the standard form of the given polynomial. Note, if no two terms of a polynomial are alike, then it is said to be in simplified form or standard form. Polynomials in the descending or ascending powers of the variables. If we arrange the degrees of the different terms in the polynomial from left to right in the descending order, then the polynomial is said to be in descending order of the powers of x or simplify the polynomial in descending order. For example, 6x square minus 7x plus 8, 3x square minus 7x plus 7 are polynomials in the descending order. The degrees of the different terms in the above polynomials from left to right are 2, 1 and 0 respectively. Hence, they are in the descending order. These polynomials can also be written as 8 minus 7x plus 6x square, 7 minus 7x plus 3x square, now they are in ascending order. Additive inverse of a polynomial. We know that to every positive rational number there exists a negative rational number such that their sum is zero. The latter is called the additive inverse of the former. Similarly to every polynomial there exists another polynomial such that their sum is zero polynomial. Of the two one polynomial is said to be the additive inverse of the other.